Hi, Dr. Paul Singh describing a case of eye tract aventinal canaloplasty, or ABIC. Here we are after the cataract removed, lens implant to the capture bag, viscoelastic in the anterior chamber and on the cornea, as well as a paracentesis already made at the 11 o'clock position, placing the eye tract catheter into the anterior chamber. Uh, view is the most important part of any MIG device. You want to zoom in nicely to have a good view of the angle structures. And, and the eye tract catheter, as we place it, is as parallel to the iris or to the angle as possible, which will be important as we grasp it later on. First, we take a 27 gauge, gauge bent needle, American Otomy, into Schlem's canal, pulling down here to expose a posterior wall to confirm we have a nice otomy. Then we take a micro forceps, grabbing about a couple millimeters behind uh, the tip of the catheter and really aiming posteriorly towards the wall, posterior wall, and just sliding it through. It really fits beautifully because of the uh, how malleable the eye tract catheter is. It slides beautifully through the otomy. And with multiple passes here, we're passing it through the Schlem's canal, 360 degrees, you see that red blinking light, which confirms the positioning and the location of the eye tract catheter at all times. And really, as you see now, the red, almost 360 degrees, we can stop and we're all the way around. Then we want to pull back, zoom out, and take our non-tooth forceps, and as we pull the catheter out of the eye, we're asking our technician on the other side to click one to two clicks of Helon GV per clock hour. There's another end where she's clicking, and I'm telling her, click, click, click. And basically, removing the, the catheter is where we're viscodilating the Schlem's canal, the distal channels, as well as the trabecular meshwork to, to really dilate and help outflow through the entire natural outflow pathway from TM to Schlem's canal to distal channels. And you see here, as we're visco removing the viscoelastic with our INA, you see the blanching effect happening on the paralimbal vessels. Here's a slow-mo video. Look at that superior vessel just kind of almost disappear here with our INA showing increased flow. And as if you look at these still images on the left, the pre-ABIC, right post-ABIC, showing the difference in the paralimbal vessels, showing the blanching effect that we see on the right. Hope that helped. This is my email address. Please feel free to contact me anytime if you have any comments or questions. And thank you so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.